First we open up the Julia REPL, hit the right square bracket to go into the package mode and type add symbolic utils. Symbolic utils is a practical symbolic programming utility in Julia. It lets you create, rewrite, simplify symbolic expressions and generate Julia code from them. Also to support the endeavor of making Julia programming tutorials, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now we load the package with the using keyword. We can create new symbols using the at seems macro. Also type annotations are optional. For example over here I'm creating alpha beta which behave like real numbers and w and z behave like a number which is the default. You can use the sim type function to find the type of a symbol. In addition we can check out whether they are subtypes of these types. I mean whether they are the subtypes of number and real in which they are not. To do this I use the at show macro and is a keyword. In addition, I can use the type of function to check out the type of W and Z, which shows me that the type of W is symbolic utils that basic symbolic and of type number and for the alpha is symbolic utils that basic symbolic of type real. You can also do basic arithmetic on symbols to get symbolic expressions. You can define two expressions, expression one, expression two, and add the two expressions together to get another expression. Also note that symbolic utils automatically simplifies. For example, 2w plus 3w minus 3z plus alpha would be simplified to alpha plus 5w minus 3z. Also, symbolic utils automatically reorders the terms, specifically expressions of type symbolic of subtype of number which includes symbol when they are created. It also does constant elimination including rational numbers. It's worth remembering that the expression may be transformed with respect to the input when it's created. Symbols can be defined to behave like functions. Both the input and output types for the function can also be specified. Any application to that function will only admit either values of those types or symbols of the same sim type. For instance, line 37 doesn't work since Z is a number, not a real. But lines 39 and 41 work because G returns a real. By default, the addition and multiplication and power operations apply the most basic simplification upon construction of the expression. And the simplify function applies a built-in set of rules to rewrite expressions in order to simplify it. Rewrite rules match and transform an expression. A rule is written using either the at rule macro or the the at ac rule macro. Here I focus on the at rule macro. It creates a callable rule object. The at rule macro takes a pair of patterns, the matcher and the consequent. At rule matcher right arrow consequent. If an expression matches the matcher pattern, it's rewritten to the consequent pattern. The at rule returns the callable object that applies the rule to an expression. And tilde x in the example is what is a slot variable named, that is x. In a matcher pattern, slot variables are placeholders that match exactly one expression. If you try to apply the R1 rule to an expression with triple angle, it will return nothing. This is the way a rule signifies failure to match. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose future content on Julia programming language. As always, see you all later.